Here at the Asian Financial Forum 2016, we're talking to Jamie Zobo. He is the chairman of Ayala Corporation of the Philippines. And thanks very much indeed for joining us. Let's look at ASEAN to begin with, because 2015 was a big year for ASEAN. But what about 2016 with the ASEAN economic community really getting underway? Well, I, I think we're increasingly uh, interconnected as, as economies. I've always been a great believer in what ASEAN stands for. I think um, as, as, a, as a person from the Philippines, I, I'm a great believer in our country uh, belonging to something bigger than itself. There's been a lot of pressure globally uh, to build up our economies. And I think a country like ours, like the Philippines, is more relevant to the world if it's part of a bigger economy like ASEAN than if it were alone. So uh, this is an important time. I think the ASEAN economic community um, is really basically allowing everyone's standards to move up to a common platform. We're not all there yet, um, but this commonality of vision, this encouraging encouragement of trade uh, between our countries and this realization of ourselves as an economic bloc, I think is very positive for all of us in general. Jamie, another big theme at the Asian Financial Forum has been the Belt and Road Initiative from China. But do you think those two things are integrated? The integration of ASEAN, if you like, and the Belt and Road? Well, I think anything that opens up uh, trade routes and facilitates movements of goods, services and people is a positive. Um, I think what China is doing, both through its central corridor and through its maritime uh, initiatives in, in terms of trade, are very positive. China has become a very important economy uh, for all of us and an important economy for, uh, for ASEAN as a whole. Anything that helps these routes open up, make it easier for people to move goods and services, and anything that opens up new markets and new communities along those routes is a very positive thing. The Philippines has had a good few years of economic growth, but what about 2016? Do you see that growth continuing? I think the basic framework of, of success of the Philippines over the last couple of years stays in place. Um, we were the second fastest growing economy uh, in this part of the world uh, uh, last year um, and we're starting off it seems in, 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 in the first half of, of this coming year, 2016, at the same pace. We've had very strong domestic demand-led growth. Uh, we have large remittances that continue to come into the country and that's driven a lot of our consumer products. It's quite a unique model and a little different to everybody else. Um, we have not seen any elements of that begin to slow down, so chances are high that the Philippines will continue in a very similar growth track as we move into 2016. Jamie, well, you have been attending the Asian Financial Forum 2016. What's your impressions of the forum this year? Well, I think it's, uh, this is the, my first time attending the forum. Uh, I think it's massively well attended. You have a great lineup of speakers, very good representation uh, among the different economies. I'm particularly delighted to see that the ASEAN countries uh, have been given solid representation at this forum. I know probably in the past it was more uh, China-centric, Japan-centric, uh, uh, but uh, ASEAN seems to be playing a bigger role in this and I think that's wonderful because I think the interlinkages uh, between uh, China and ASEAN are increasingly important. Um, I think the themes are great, the speakers are great, and delighted to be here.